Yo, what is up guys? Uh, if you clicked on this video, you're trying to fix your sound from multiple different PC setups from the Elgato software. Like, you just can't hear, like, your gameplay or something. I don't know a ton about this stuff, but I'm going to try to show you what I did that helped me. Because I spent a lot of time in here trying to figure this out. And I don't want other people to go through the same struggle I went through. So I'm going to try to help you out here. So basically, I have the 4K60 Pro, which is an internal. I have it all hooked up and everything. And I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but I have the mix amp for the A40s. I don't know if this thing messes with any of the sound transfer or anything, but I'm going to show you guys what I did to help me fix my sound. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your gaming PC. So I'm going to switch over to my gaming PC real fast. And you want to go to downloads, Elgato.com. This is where you can download all the things from Elgato. So, if you have the 4K 60 Pro, you're using the 4K Capture Utility for Windows. So, this could also happen with the HD 60 Pro, I'm guessing, since that's also an internal. So, if you already have the HD 60 Pro, you most likely already have the uh, uh, Game Capture for Windows, I'm pretty sure. So, if you have the 4K 60 Pro, you're going to need to install the Game Capture for Windows. So, you're just going to click Install and then go through the uh, installing process. I'm going to minimize this real quick. And then the next thing you're going to do, which so when you install that, you're going to install the Game Capture HD, which is down here in the bottom left that I'm showing you, and the Sound Capture. So you're going to open up the Sound Capture, and you want to go over to the PC Gaming, because this is uh, where you can customize the sound settings for PC. And the thing I did was I went down here. This says, where do you want to hear your PC gameplay? And I selected the monitor that I was playing on. And then for the output at the bottom, I selected my mix amp, which is what I'm hearing through my headset. So basically, you want to select this, you want to select your monitor for the first one, and then your headset for the second one. And then when you do that, it should make your sound down here. If you click on the sound, it should say speakers Elgato sound capture. And anytime you go to change to your headset, like right here, the Pro Voice, It'll automatically just set it back to the set that, so you should be good on that. And then also, you want to do the same thing on your streaming PC. So I'm going to go back over to my streaming PC. And what you're going to want to do here is you want to do the exact same thing. Download the video capture software. And then I'm actually going to open up the sound capture. Show you what you want to do here. Uh, for this one, you're going to want to go to the headphones. This. So this is where you want the audio to come out for your streaming PC. So say you have another headset for your streaming PC. First one's going to be your headset. So right here, as you can see, I'll go back to OBS real fast. This is the headset that I use for my streaming PC, the Astro A20s. So that's where I want the sound to come out for that. So you're going to go back to uh, sound capture. So you want that to be your headset or whatever you're going to have the sound coming out of, like speakers or whatever. And then the second one you want is none. Took me a while to figure that out. Hoping this, uh, you know, solves the problem. Uh, that's honestly like the only thing I found wrong was just not being able to get the sound from the gameplay or anything from my streaming PC over to... Uh, my or from my gaming PC over my streaming PC, and I'm gonna show you another uh fix as well. The 4K capture utility. Uh, hopefully this helps some people as well. Having this problem, uh, at first I couldn't figure out how to like get it to actually like capture my display, and I couldn't find any videos on this either. I figured it out myself, so I might as well just throw it in for the video to help you guys out. So whenever you go into the 4K Capture Utility software, you're going to want to go over to Device. This is where you'll select whatever you're going to capture, which is going to be the 4K, uh, the 4K 60 Pro. And then I just have mine set as 1080p, 144, because that's what, I'm, that's what the monitor I'm like playing on right now. So the way to get that is this input ED ID mode. So usually it's set to merged. 
and you want to just change it to display because what this is going to do is it's going to allow your thing to capture display so it's going to capture like you says it's right here i have it set to 1080p so it's going to capture 1080p recording on my display and it's also going to be 144p so it's like i'm actually going to get my 144 hertz uh display on my monitor so i don't have it capped at 60 hertz because that was really annoying i had to mess with that for a while as well and you can just leave the internal one as default because you don't need to worry about uh internal part of it but yeah basically those are the things i had trouble with the most when i was setting up my 4k 60 pro uh so i'm hoping this video does help you guys out a lot because it's it's really a pain in the butt when you get something new and you get something like you go on YouTube to try to look it up and you think there would be a video on it because it's YouTube, but there's not a video on it. So hoping that does help you. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and it genuinely helped you. Uh, so yeah, it's been Air Clap and peace.